All right, guys, welcome back. We're hanging out at the Improv here in uh, Hollywood, California, right on Melrose. This place is really, really cool. It's like, you can tell that it's old school enough where all the greats and comedy definitely, you know, worked out their acts here. But also at any given night, now you can come here and see the future of comedy. In fact, let's walk up on stage and see what a comedian actually sees when they're doing their set. Yeah, I'd be a little nervous up here for sure. Uh, the spotlight tonight is on Nathan Barr. He does uh, TV and film composition, really cool. What I think is great about Nathan is that not only does he hand write a lot of the score, he performs a lot of it himself with all sorts of weird instruments and very talented guy. Here's our spotlight on Nathan Barr. My name is Nathan Barr and I write uh, music for film and television and I also perform a lot of those scores. One of the things that I think makes me unique about a composer is I, I really try and keep things very organic. And uh, in a day which is seeing um, a lot of film and television music moving more and more towards synthesized sounds, um, I try and keep everything very real with, by playing instruments and performing everything myself. I have done a lot of horror films, so uh, I work with Eli Roth a lot. I did Cabin Fever, Hostel, Hostel 2, and we just always have an amazing collaboration together. Eli makes these totally crazy, amazing films, and I've been able to, uh, to be along on that journey from a musical standpoint. Most recently I did a film called The Last Exorcism. In LA, the city where you don't want to have a commute, I have the shortest commute in the world. I just go out my front door and I convert my garage into a studio. So most days I roll out there in my boxers, sit down with a cup of coffee and start working. I've composed all the original music for the series True Blood. Most of the characters on True Blood have themes. The first theme I came up with on the whole show, which sort of was the, was the heart of the show, was Bill and Sookie's love theme. I kind of just picked up the guitar and started playing chords. Then I thought, I wonder if I slide that up with the same position my fingers are in. I just doubled the guitar line with the cello. Once I had that and they were into what I was doing, that sort of gave me the confidence to go out and find some of the other themes for, for the other characters. Nate! Hey! What's up, Nate? Hey, Carson, how are you doing, man? How you doing, man? Come on in. Sorry to uh, bombard your spotlight. No, not at all. I've yeah. heard about this room that you have where you keep all these freaky instruments that you, yeah. you use in your, in your compositions, and uh, I wanted to come and just check some of them out. Yeah, let's check them out. This is a human bone, it's a femur uh, from <laughs> Tibet. Basically some monks, when they uh, when they die, they have their bodies turned into instruments. So it could be a club or a you sure it's a femur or... bone? Yeah. <laughs> so this was actually, I think it was a pig. One of the things I love about Eli, when uh, when we first started working together, he said, I want, I want your score to be so scary that when people cover their eyes because it's too gruesome, they're still experiencing it. This is for a scene in season three of True Blood. Jason uninvites Bill out of his house and there's this vampires when they're uninvited, they kind of get sucked out of the house. And I actually took a bagpipe and, and played that. So this, believe it or not, that's a bagpipe and then I I took a bell, and I played a bell, and it reversed it. And then last, I took that prepared piano. And then when you put all those things together, it just creates this totally new sound. Really... I don't even care what they're saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the music for people is it's such a personal thing, and it taps into some part of us as human beings that just uh, brings up all the emotions for us, and I think film utilizes that emotional connection that we have to music. Like I spend a lot of time alone in a room with a bunch of weird instruments like making strange music and uh, if you took it away from the show people would definitely notice but, but no one really knows what we do and so it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to, to share that. Uh, really cool yeah. work, the work that you do is really phenomenal. Oh thanks, thank you so much. There he is. That was fun. I'm glad I got a chance to hang out. Nathan Barr, a good guy. NathanBarr.com if you want to keep tabs on uh, what he's up to. When we get back, we've got the music tonight from the Lingerie Club in Hollywood. You'll see Off. It's their TV debut, and if you like hardcore punk, it's amazing. We've got more from the improv right after this. <laughs>